And let me start this off with a... I am so controlled by my uh, emotions when it comes down to uh, not accepting, looking for... The, I'm just so old school, you know, talking about qualifications get you the job. You know, if you want a prosecutor, you don't choose a person that's uh, been a public defender forever. You do, that's not really where you go digging into the, to, to be the prosecutor now. Uh, and it's just it's just weird, right? It's got to be a person that has something about some moral, some moral, some moral turpitude and... I'm triggered by people who uh, who don't know their their limitations. All right, so I wouldn't be what you got to know your limitations. Clint Eastwood said that, right? A man has got to know his limitation. I'm talking about, I guess he meant literal man then, but talking about human beings that we got to know our limitations. We got to stop there. I don't do. I don't cross. Look, the green people, right? So. This person is going to be part of FIU. Is that part of FIU? Yes, FIU has got their foot in the door again on another on this investigation at Champlain Tower South. Remember, they have their. They could. She she does witness investigations now. Kid you not? She's she's not an investigator, but she's going to be doing witness investigations now for FIU for the uh, NIST NIST building for the NIST collapse. She's got no policing background, no way to, you know, no history of that, um, and no history of of how to to figure out what's going on. The number one witness here is Nier, N-I-R, the late 111. She's number one. She shows that when she got out of her seat to go complain, she was complaining about a noise. And, and she used her hand, if you remember in one of the descriptions. And she said the word knocking, and then she used her hands like a scattered knock, a pattern, if you will, a frequency when she did the knock, knock, knock. Not like knock, 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 one in location. She moved her hand from one space to the next, to the next, to the next. Now, you would ask the person again to give you statements. So how would you do this? All right. So I'm quite triggered because I feel like I'm teaching these people how to do a job that we need real professionals doing. And that is, you first ask them, look, I'm going to interview you in a few days. You know, no no big deal. You know, I just need you to be calm about it. There's nothing stressful. And I want you to take notes of every for the, for the next few days before I interview you of everything you recall. Just start taking notes. And if you max out and you can't think of anything else, let me know. And then I want you to let me know. So when you max out, let me know. And then we'll talk on the phone before the interview still. And we'll go over your notes and see if I can spark some more memories from you. And then we'll, we'll skill schedule it out. We won't do it tomorrow. You know, it's not like, hey, can it, are you available tomorrow? That doesn't do that. No. Give them time for the brain to load those files and go over them left and right. They're there. All the data is there. But the person needs to get triggered by the, uh, that they're going to be interviewed by and let them start loading it. And it, it might be a week out before you really want to interview them at this point. It's so long gone now, there's no panic to jump them in there and say, I'm going to grab their memories real quick. No, it's too late for that. You need them to relax, load all their paper up, or load it into a, uh, um, a uh, diary type thing. And now here's the thing. You tell them, please don't, don't write separate papers. It only goes in a book you'll carry. And please don't tear out any pages. Please write in the notes from, from as you remember it. So the first, as you're remembering it, don't fill it in. Don't try to fill in a certain spot in it. Just fill it in. When you write it, just turn the page, fill it in. Turn the page, fill it in as you remember it. And it doesn't have to be in order. Don't worry about that. We'll put it in order later. We'll do it together. We'll take the pages out. We'll put them on a board and figure out where they belong. And as we put them on a board... The person will see that, oh, oh, wait a minute, now I remember something else. We, great, thanks. Here, just, just, you can write it down. Write it down as you remember it, and then we'll put it on the board. And then we'll go over it at the end, when you, when you, everything as you remember, not as I want you to remember or manipulate it. So it's as they remember it. So then you put it on the board. And then if it looks like it tells a story without you adding your two cents in as the investigator, that's the story. There's no reason to fill in the blanks if, if the story is clear about that. You know, including, can we see kindly, can we see your uh, Snapchat or whatever that was? Uh, not Snapchat because that disappears, right? Um, 
the the post the post she did can you look at the uh she took the comp- the uh, computer with her i mean uh the computer probably stayed there but the but the uh history might be still in there in the computer so you can look at the history of when she was online so you can go to your history of unless you have history turned off somehow your history of where you when you were online or when you were in the time you were there is inside your Google searches. Everybody uses Google. It's in Yahoo also. It's in, a, in all these searches. It's there. There is a, a history of where you've been on in the, in the cloud, if you will, and it'll be back in when you sign back in. It's on your cell phone, and she took her cell phone with her, I'm guessing, and set a packet in there that hopefully she didn't ruin her, ruin her phone. And I was going to tell you about, I didn't want to trigger anybody that has people that, that, that died inside the collapse. But there's a way to tell when the phone died. A, a, a way to tell. And it's, it's always sending in packets off to Google. And at one point the packets stopped. And that's when that phone was, was destroyed. And so if you really want to get to the investigation, you need to um, subpoena Google for their for their packets when did they stop receiving packets from this phone of the of this deceased and it'll tell a timeline of each each phone that that was battery died or was crushed uh, destroyed um, obviously a person unplugged their phone it wouldn't work it would interesting tell if you can if you see a phone that says well this means they turned their phone off well, look for the look for the trail of that, the proof of that that they turned their phone off the day before, and the day before, and the day before that the people actually turned their phone off at the same timeline, and that would also tell you that the, the when they went were stable in that location and, and and stopped. Now they also have Bluetooth sharing. Um, some people leave their Bluetooth on. You can tell a story uh, of it. Then it was it connected to the internet. Was it active? Now, the Internet, the IP servers also now have packets that they're allowed to have per that new law that they threw out, um, but Internet protection stuff. So that also has a packet. So Google has a packet of it, and if they were connected to the uh, Internet, their Internet prov- service provider has a packet, if you can subpoena that. Okay, so this is my problem about people out of their zone. So I know I'm giving advice and hints and, and how to do this, but so what you can this this person yeah i don't know how to do this and also say look i'm offering a hand so i'm offering the hand out the help and on the other hand i'm saying why well, you're not qualified all right so there a these people go after uh, after funding or after uh after funding and there's and they solicit for their can you put me into the game can you put me in the game i that's not i you know, it's it's un, it's it's not the best person for the job. If you follow the the, the person's um, um, history here, it says she was recognized by the tenth year Golik earthquake. Here we go back to earthquake stuff. You see what I'm driving at here? This person's another earthquake seismology, uh, Scientology. Yeah, I see that. And um, it's just not the right zone. It's not the right fit. And people don't know how to tell people that. They're going, look, yeah, you applied, it's great. But no, that's not the way it is. They're like, oh, yeah, you fit our agenda. Sure. Come on. You know what our, we, we, you know, you, you seem like you'll fit our agenda. You're down with the earthquake stuff. We want to go towards, um, you know, we're thinking more like, uh, you know, the uh, uh, subsidence and global warming did it. And they're like, yeah, yeah, well, you know, I only have a hammer and that looks like a nail to me. Sure. You've got to be able to adjust. Remember, my whole thing is, you know, just because you spend a lot of time making a mistake, you know, don't doesn't mean you, you should stick to it. You know, my one of my mottos there, you know, just because you spend a lot of time making a mistake or, you know, believing a path, you need to be able to say, that's why you don't see me say 100%. You need to be able to say that, all right, I leave 1% open to, there's the 1%. There's a video showing that an airplane just dropped on that location and the airplane was removed before we see a photograph, you know, something crazy, that someone in the garage was actually tap, 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 or somebody in there with a sledgehammer, you know, happened to have the right skill set to know how to start punch shearing going in this whole deck that, 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 that knew it. 
I mean, look, 9-11, right? Who, who saw that coming? Well, the, the, the architect did, obviously. He said that uh, the engineer, I forget who it was, it said that this building can take an airplane crash. It turns out it could take an airplane crash, and you've got to evacuate immediately. He was right. He didn't lie about that. It did take an airplane crash. All right? But you got to leave. So the uh, – um, and, and so imagine the impact of that. It took – a compression on one side, tension on the other. The aircraft was absorbed into the building. It really did. I mean, the stairwell didn't take it. The building took it, not the stairwell, and that was that's where people got trapped. So, and besides, you you know, you it's, it's a guided missile, basically, right? So, the uh, if you everything if everything if you're a carpenter, everything looks like a nail and a hammer to you. You know, it's about it. You know, not not really, but in this case. If they're an earthquake person, let me see how I can tie it in with what I know. Because they don't expand their knowledge to be all-inclusive. you got to open your mind. you got to make it more inclusive. Everything, including listening to the wild things about electrical boxes uh, and, and junction boxes. You know, you, got, you laugh about it and go, really? So electrical box did it. But you got to say, okay, let me hear the story. How the electrical box did it. All right, so, you know, it, our transformer blew up. Oh, now we're talking. Did it, did it crack us? crack a structure you know now we're talking but I mean, that's not what happened so the knock 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 is what i'm driving at is the most crucial witness here the most crucial witness we've got the video evidence but the crucial witness is somebody that that was so disturbed by this banging this banging and i the banging remember i have the video of let me see if i can have it up here yeah um the video where I show the, the the fracture here, the crack in the deck here off the porch, and I won't tell you which porch it is, but the uh, you guys can figure it out. I will tell eventually. So look, the the crack comes off of this column here. I know I have a um, uh, there's an engineer that I'm communicating with that that wants me to see the back wall as the beginning failure point. And so with that said, <laughs> I've got to keep looking at it. Um, I've looked at that back wall. I have to come off the wall to have it pull away. I just can't have it shearing down because my opposing loading point are columns. And I have a full um, wall with, with rebar, a full ledge. It's, it's, it's simple as you grabbing a piece of plywood and I tell you the, to put part of the plywood across the ledge of a wall and I want you to hold the plywood out at the other end. Who now the walls the load is distributed across the wall on your side it's distributed down your ass you know your hands holding your palms literally your palms and then your muscles don't worry about that fatigue but the the palms are your two surfaces that you're holding it from fingertips whatever i want you to hold it from your palms all right so that's the two surfaces imagine that you don't have the ability to get weak well the, the those pressure pressure um mm, okay so think of uh Think of this, a, a wheeled tire goes through mud and it gets trapped, stuck. And then I use a track machine with tracks on it to go through the same mud and doesn't get struck. Why is that? Because it displaces, it has more area to displace its load, its weight. And so it does has a less of an impact on the soil, compressing the soil down and trapping itself. That's why track machines go into the water and they go into the mud and they go into the beachy sands. But if you take a tire machine, you're going to displace all your weight just on those tire, those point loads. Well, they're palms of your point loads. And so you would have a greater point load sharing all that slab here than you would against the wall. That's why I can't pick the wall. But I can come further out, and that planter box is, is, is my rotation point. It's clearly a rotation point for me at that point. Um, but the question is, does it turn clockwise or counterclockwise um, in, its, in its failure. We know where it's, it's settled at, but which way did it go first? And I talk about that with that one video where I show the, the, uh, that we have that jealous wall where it pushes out. So that was why it was still in the air. It can't be on the ground and also push out my jealous wall. So the moment had to take place, the reaction had to take place first before it separated from the wall separating from if it would have been pulling down from the wall it would have pulled the block inwards but the uh you know what i got a model for that i'm going to come back to that i'm sort of letting that 
stay out there for you. I said I would do a model, a cardboard model, and you'll see it. It's not as simple as I'm stating. The 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 fracture over here is, you know, I gotta I gotta add my girl's uh, knock 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 into this. So she's let me do the, let me do one of my the screenshot things. So she's over here not hearing knocking. It's at whatever time, whatever whatever time it is, she's hearing knocking. Right, knock. And she uses her hand like this, like her right hand, I believe, I recall. And it could be wrong on the right hand. It's just how memory is. You've got to go to the video to see how good your memory is to check it. And she does a pattern like this. Knock, knock, knock. She, knock, knock, knock. Knock, knock, knock. Yeah, I guess it's three. I, my guess, I recall. See this? And then you go back there and you'll see if it was four. And you go, okay, you know, you, you show your own defect on recalling of your recollections. So of what she'd said. But this is... Weeks later, she says, knock, knock, knock. Um, and then we have, and don't let, and oh, I'm sorry, and, and you would ask her not to look at any videos of her previous statements. Just write them down. And then you would see how it lines up and goes, look, you said it this way then. This would be more of the exacting um, deal. Let's just do that. Um, no. No. Okay, so there's that. We have a crack over here. Um, ultimately, we have a crack here that's a failure, and then we have, let me line it up, but right about here is another crack. This is probably the building falling down that created these two cracks. This crack here, this call, let's change the color to, uh, yeah, let's change the color to blue. So, red, white, and blue. Uh, red, white, and blue. No, green, yellow. Let's change it to green. This should be our go color. Mm. This should be first. Uh, this is our go color. This means that the crack was there. And there's our yellow. We'll change this to yellow. Um, this is her. Well, yeah, sorry about that. Let's surround it with green. Oh, not possible, apparently. Okay. So here's our knock, knock, knock. Um, okay. Here we go. Um, green, yellow. Red. So that's a pattern on which you think A, B, C. Knock, knock, knock. This is how me remember, remember it. And let's, it doesn't it doesn't work really matter about the time. This thing didn't collapse on time. It collapsed on events. Uh, um, so 11 o'clock is the same. As, I don't, it doesn't matter to me. She was disturbed for some time about knocking, she said. And... I don't know if it was before or not, but we can say it's uh, at that time is our best, our most clarity, that it became pretty damn annoying to her. So how about that rebar ripping out of the, the, the concrete deck? We have a deck that failed. So why do we have to keep looking for um, all over the building when we got a deck that we know is first? All right, if we have the, the, the collapse of the top floor goes first, then we don't have... Um, we don't have, uh, the building goes all the way down at that point. It's not like it, two floors drop, and then the building just stayed where it was, that the two floors above dropped. We also have a possibility that, it, that uh, someone was just banging, banging at their property also. You know, someone was doing some late night uh, wall hanging, and it's really just, you know, bang, 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 exactly what she heard. It could be someone got into the, uh, the gym next door. And she's her senses are off. Her senses, the near senses are off. And knock, knock, knock could have been the damn, uh, um, what do you call it? The one of the uh, the um, exercise machines left on, and it had a bad um, um, bearing. And then you get that the problem. I mean, that's a huge, a huge possibility. There, there are bearings in those machines. You can turn them on without being on them. As you know, many people slide off unless these features had a safety feature that you had to hold it in your hand. And it, still, they pin it into the uh, machine. So when you go back, it pops out. But if you leave it, if you don't hold it in your hand, the machine would still work. So what time did the machine shut down, if at all? Were they allowed to work there and do that anytime they wanted? And so the machine could have been just left on. Bang, 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 bang. You know, a bad bearing. It's simple as that. I can't get concrete. This is the rebar, incidentally, I was doing there. I can't get the ripping of concrete um, acting acting in that capacity because she heard 
bang, knock, knock, knock. She was specific about that. Not I heard some weird noise or weird, weird sound. She heard knock, knock, knock. So I've got to go with treadmill. You know, the treadmill was left on and it just happened. There's the thing about it. It's post hoc type thing. It just happens to be in the same time that this thing collapsed. So how do, can I get the treadmill to short out and come on its own during this collapse? Like the deck starts cracking and there's some electric here. It shorts out and it, and it turns on the treadmill. No, that shorts out. It doesn't turn on. A short doesn't turn on. This short would not turn it on. It would have to be in the switch, that, literally in a switch that closes the switch that makes it turn on. I just don't have that happening. Could this have cracked and knocked over a treadmill? It's too balanced. They're not going to knock themselves over. I don't know how they had it configured in there, but they're, they're too balanced. I mean, you can beat up, you can hang on them, lean on them, left and right, and you, no one flips over a treadmill unilaterally you know, or the other direction either. So, no, don't have it that. And the treadmill is the only one that I know that, that works in there and the power on its own you know, that they would probably be using the treadmill. Um, and a treadmill, interesting, I think this is more bathroom, and so treadmill is the other end of the structure. Now she said, knock, knock, knock. What else makes knock, knock, knock? Hammer sounds. Hammer sounds make that in, in, um, in, uh, busted pipes. They'll start, ham make a hammer sound, and it's bang, bang, bang. So I think our deck fractured a pipe. And what she heard was water flowing in a in the in the uh, I believe it's the surging of the uh, the uh, water bang 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 water hammer is what it's called, and it was it, it's it's like a um, gloop 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 when you're doing your water. So let's see water hammer. So let's go here. Let's get rid of this. And so you're going to look for pipes that are right around here that could have fractured. And when she heard knock, 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 that's one of the pipes, I believe, fractured, and you get water hammer. So let's say that. And so Nears, uh, I don't want to beat this lady up because I might reach out to her. So I hope if she's watching the content, yeah, I beat you up. All right, you can beat me back up. All right, if it makes you feel better, please, you know, return the favor and, and I'll, I'll eat crow. But um, please reach out there. Since you're the head lead investigator now on witness statements, please do what 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 politicians do. How about that? Left and right, they delegate some things because they don't want to have their thumb on the, the finger on the pulse, right? So delegate this to more expert people b below you. You know, yes, you're running it. Doesn't mean you have to do the literal witness statements. You. I am pretty sure you don't have the ability to do investigations like this. Looking at your past, you have no history of it, and it's 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 no history of it. There's no uh, you know and you know no no way to do it. No no history of it. No skill set. It's not something you just jump in. Look, I can question you. You may be able to question your husband and your kids, but this is a whole other game. You got to know how to calm people down and and tell them it's okay and really appreciate you got to know how to pander and not pander when to be aggressive when to be plain calm you've got to know the whole the whole cycle of it okay and let's see so then water hammer is what i want you to look at so water hammer oops so that didn't work out my fingers they just do their own thing sometimes Water hammer. So videos. Let's see if we can get audio. And audio. Okay, I said videos. And let's try again. Videos. Um, what is water hammer? Let's see if we can get some sound on it. It's a shock wave transmitted through fluid contained in a piping system. Here we go. I like their definition. So I believe at that point we just need to find a pipe that's fractured. We got a fracture of the pipe, so we're going to need a, a break in the deck. It was already started at that point. So and we have the garage down. So I think we just need to reach in the garage over there, probably Water by. Hammer is a shock so so it's interesting. Through fluid. Interesting. Um, remember the supercomputer of um, of uh, uh, what's my girl? 
uh, she, her, um, Dawn, Dawn, Lee, Dawn, Dawn E. Lehman, her supercomputer disregarding the video because it had to, but the supercomputer put it back there inside the gym. The supercomputer, I think, was very close considering no video. If it could only move, if she could go back in there. Remember, guys, I, I don't, I may seem like I'm nasty to people and stuff like that, but I'm always willing to work with everybody. If her supercomputer, uh, because I know how to, you know, wave a flag, I don't just hate, it's not, it's, I'm not built that way. You guys may think that, no. And I don't care if you think that. I just, you know, like, whatever. Because I know how I'm built. So look, if Dawn E. Lehman's supercomputer, if she can rerun her model, and be biasly so put a fracture over there by the parking car. Her supercomputer wanted to put it inside the, inside the, uh, I don't know how she arrived at that, but the supercomputer wanted to put it inside the, the gym area, which we show intact. If her supercomputer can now extrapolate that there's a moment, a beginning failure right over by the garage, if she would just work from that premises and stop working from a brand new premise, work on, work on putting the, uh, the, the formula in that says, I want you to start here as a weak point because of the core sample, for example, and then let it run. And then if she can run another one, says, I want you to start over here where the other core sample was, which is not where I point to. It's a little bit inbound by the car. It's, it's parallel to the car below the window. Then let it run and see what a supercomputer does. And then run it at the corner where I show it, what the beginning of what I say is punch sharing. Then let it run. And see if her supercomputer can duplicate then. Also have, note that the pipe, she needs to have a pipe um, uh, break. Because this water hammer is not going to happen if you, yeah, no, no. You need a break, I'm sorry, because these are solid full pipes. So let's make this clear to you guys. These are full pipes. So if you deflect, bend the pipe, you still got, you've got uh, no hammer. Because it's just a pressuring pressure increase, but it's because you restrict it. But there's no flow. So it's just, a, it's just more pressure inside the artery, if you will. You need to make an artery break, and then you're going to get the surge. And that is going to be the banging, uh, the, the knock, knock, knock. Let me see. Knock, knock, knock. That's going to be important, too, because you're going to have, when you break this pipe, you don't want the water hammer just to be flapping in the wind. That's too much. It has a, it has a surge to it. Knock, knock, knock. And so... Um, it's a, it's a, it's a surge, a pulse. Um, I think, I think you get, it's like the toilet. There we go. Let's listen here. Contained in a piping system. I'm going to end the video after this. It occurs when fluid in motion is suddenly forced to stop moving and frequently occurs at pump shutdown. We'll be showing the difference between using a swing check valve and a spring assisted DFT really? silent check valve. Here you can see the fluid flow upon pump startup. <laughs> the motion and slamming of the swing check can cause damage to ceiling surfaces and fatigue and wear to the hinge pins. Now we don't, you know, I don't know how they fit it out, but I don't think that was in there, but you heard the knocking, the surge, knock, knock, knock. That's just... <laughs> You show me just grab this video, so don't don't go down. It's that I don't know that to be there, so so I don't know that to be in the system, but it could be somewhere in the system, and that would would send noise vibrating down the whole down the whole entire pipe, and you would hear it, because frankly, you can resolve this in a, in a bit way in the basement, and the banging comes up there by your whatever. When the pump shuts down, it is gravity and reverse flow that closes. It's not gravity, it's reverse flow that closed the darn door. It's no longer, it's just equilibrium of the weight of this. Please stop with the gravity stuff, people. Gravity, if you believe in Newton, then Newton also says there's an opposite equal reaction. So there is no, gra gravity cancels itself out, all right? It just cancels itself out. Or it's linear, lineal, and it just pulls only to the center of the earth like some vacuum forever. Really? Make up your mind. Is Newton right or is Newton wrong about his third law? Third law equal and opposite. Gravity says one direction, so he states it, and then he and then he cancels it out with equilibrium. Listen. When the pump shuts down, it is gravity and reverse flow. That and then he says, and reverse flow. Uh, when the pump shuts down, the pressure on this side is greater than the pressure on this side, 
or is it equal? When it shuts down, it, it's equal. And the weight of this can't be the weight of this, just like a boat, just like a boat is can't be displaced. So it can't stay higher. It can't stay at this elevation. So it is a hinge point. It would just fall straight down otherwise. But the hinge point makes this plate, which weighs, it can't be, it's not displacing more than it weighs, slides around and stops there. There's no air in it, so it would ultimately go to the bottom of this if you just if you if it could just fall straight. It's displacement, just like a boat. There is no gravity action here. Displacement. That closes or it slams the swing check valve closed, resulting in pressure wave build and water hammer. Water hammer can also damage pipe hangers, instrumentation, and lead to dangerous work environments. So it would be more of a chatter, I think, if uh, if there was a hanger issue after the pipe broke, that it would be more of a chatter, like more increased. I think I don't think it would be knock, knock, knock. I think this is more pipe banging against the uh, um, the surging water coming out. And you saw that in her video, where we see the water coming out in a pulse. When you see the uh, pulse action of the uh, the water flow from um, the Adriana's video, it's a pulse that comes. And that's that pulse that would also give us our water hammer, our banging. End of video, I just wanted to give you Nier's um, water hammer and how any of you brilliant people out there can, you know, can go out there and start chasing down pipes and... Maybe Dawn Lehman can win the uh, not the Sydney Award. We would give her the uh, all uh, the uh, the Venezuelan Award. I'm being facetious and have a little fun, but um, uncalled for, uncalled for. Anyway, so um, I'd like their the, the supercomputer to run those thing there. Let her let her run with that. The thing is, will her amygdala let her let her admit that she's wrong? Apparently not, as I showed you with the. With when I outed that they couldn't be at the garage, at the uh, box there that that Miami Herald with their Sydney Award went back into their article and removed those images, so when you go look at the post they're gone. They're, they're those images I, I outed them on it's it's uh it's it's not it's it's so it shows you about character you know instead of char character would say ooh made a mistake made a mistake on that we we're gonna have to turn back in our Sydney Award I have to tell you I'm defective and. Well, you already won the award. It would be against you to say, you know what? I don't deserve the award. I made a mistake in my in my thinking. Um, I admit to my mistakes. I admit to my mistakes, and I love. As a wise man once said, I'll end it with this one. I think wise man said, a, a wise man doesn't learn from his mistakes alone. He can learn from other people's mistakes, and that's when you know you're wise. You don't have to make the mistake to learn it. Okay. Water hammer is probably what she heard. Bang, bang, bang. Find the find the pipe. We got a water hammer. I don't think it's a bearing in a, in a uh, treadmill. And besides, the treadmills might be on the other side of the building. These might just be bathrooms on this side. Um, water hammer is what I'm going with. And this me and and that gets me my fractured deck. That gets us our progressive collapse um, with the deck, and then the the timeline. And then the pickup of the of the um, main structure um, collapsing. There we go. Enjoy. It. Bye. Uh, again, apologize for offending this person that's going to be doing the investigation, and I apologize with an ulterior motive that I want them to use the data that I'm providing, and I can't apologize. If I don't apologize, they more than likely will throw the baby out with the bathwater, and I don't want that to happen. Take care.